Fun fact, it's the game that. Yeah, fun fact, it's the game that model I showed you in, in the DMs from. Yeah, I just realized. Yeah, I've, been cool. going I've been busy with Final Fantasy lately. At the same yeah. phase. Oh. Dude, Dream Mix is actually a platform fighter like Smash Brothers. Anniversary, <laughs> stuff like that. Celebration. And it's and it's a crossover between Hudson, Kunami, and Takara. Not only that, but like it's, you know, and yeah, Bomberman Man is one of the Hudson reps. Been to, like, Simon and Solid Snake are, are two game, of the but, like, uh, Kunami reps. Like, weekends, but, like, the last you won't believe who the two Taka two of the Takaras are. Optimus yeah. Prime and Megatron from Transformers. So then I just, I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna go. Like, here, uh, yeah, so I didn't go last weekend, crazy. and they were like, you know what, you buy it. And I was like, oh well. <laughs> they ain't the only people with a job or money. <laughs> Fellas, you know how much I worry about things. No. Well, probably if, like, everybody in here unfriended me and blocked me, then I'd get in here. It'd probably hurt me more. Ah, right. eh, money doesn't really <coughs> hurt me that much, so... That yeah, comes and goes. That me and opens me. That comes me and opens me. I will add you, but be forewarned, when we're not here, I can't see that. Hi. What's up? Oh my dear, tech nerd! Oh my poor baby, you're lagging! I'm not lagging. No, I like your FPSs are a little bit lower, actually. I think it's because of the lightsaber. I'll drill in it. Yeah. <laughs> My guy's taking some uh, some uh, frames there. Hey, where did Ern go? Let me see. Uh, she's over there. Oh, oh. Mine's bigger than you. Usually, sometimes the, uh, the avatar that I have is just like not very well. Not to mention, I don't know how to. I only know how to separate things. Oh no, she left. Oh, yeah, always like this. How you doing? You will become yes. 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 Yeah. Not really making me feel like dog water, but aside yeah, from that's been all right. We hope you feel better. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like just hitting the old booze and see if it'll <laughs> turn my blues away. But who knows? Hmm. Does have me thinking about these things. But who knows? <laughs> so today I don't know anything about this story. I'm, I'm a little excited. Oh, wait, either of this? This the um, archaeologist again, or I think is it? I don't think I ever partook in the archaeologist. Okay. The last one that we did, I I know we finished. Um, what was it? The, the agent. You finished the agent. Not the so. pilot, but the other one. The agent. Yes. The agent. Yes, that one. And then, uh, and then I know that uh, I was having trouble with with my uh, game because I was bored to all shit, and now it's even worse than it was before. However, now I can use portals, but I can't see when people leave. So, like, if I were to click on you and try to join you, I would just come right back here. Interesting. Unfortunately. Yeah, and sometimes when I try to like send um invites to other people, like it's just grayed out. So I can't send invites. After I got banned from EMM, I think they might have told some shit to VR chat and uh they borked my game even more. Ah, but whatever. These things happen. Banned from EMM. I have to wait till yeah. The master speaks. The event of your I didn't think the fate of your will. 
is here. Make your way to the prep room. I repeat. Make your way to the prep Take room. It. Oh, I think Ern left. Okay. Oh, Ern's actually right there. We shall make it our way to oh, the prep that. room. What the hell is this goddamn oh. software See? doing? See? They just crack. tiny. Uh, yeah. I think he might have been a genuine <laughs> person. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, right here, right here. I'm raving. Yo, raving voice. Raving. Just like Cory in the house. I'm the brother <laughs> raving in the house. What is that? Over there? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be a dad. He can move his feet. I can move my feet, please. For oh, I see. Oh, this is my cool. doppelganger. Hello, Tech. You're in full body now. Didn't even realize. I am in full body now. Yes. Nice. No, I'm not in full body. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, because I the other one's so bad. Crazy about, about, but this is interesting. <laughs> this is why I don't you know, know. I know you can't see it, but I have feet now. See, here's the issue with the, the I think newer thing. Are you ready for this? Oh, you did okay, not, sir. You did it sounds like to me that you just do not know the way. They ruined the SD because they they changed wrist tracking. If I, had I will boop your nose, but you don't have one, so I'll boop your stash. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna boop your. I'm gonna. Guys, can I see your stash for a sec? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Let me just. <laughs> I ripped it off. Well, I was gonna give it to you. It's in my hand, but no. You excited, no, no, my guy? Uh, you, you know you could make it dynamics, right? Dude, it's pretty cool. I know I can. Usually I have a. I have Did you? And stuff, and I just no. Want to know something? I've been playing a ton of Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, you too? It's a good time. Almost all of my crafters are level 80. I can't. I can't reach level 80. Remember? But on the free trial. Oh, it's like an absolute I'm level smack yeah. Yeah. Who's got eyes like no, a what? Got that He's got eyes like a smack asshole. Aren't you a little tired too? No, I don't. Go to your room right now, bro. Go grab some whiskey. Boom. Sips. That's what I'm doing. You know what? I got a big ass bottle. Oh, shit. Jackie's here. Oh dear. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like it. I'm excited for this story because I, I haven't heard it. Yeah. I've heard the pilot yeah, heard at the time. And, uh, yeah, like, the, the, oh, dude, like, they just barely finished the other one, one called The Agent. It was, like, super cool. That's the one that really got me into the thing. Because uh, that was, like, the first one that I heard. Yeah. Oh, but it's pretty cool. When in doubt, ask the most. I think he's, a, he's the most astute one here. I don't really know who the cast is. So, I don't know who the helpers are going to be today, but uh, you can ask uh, either Trajan or Sheen. Nice. Find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized 
infomorphic mimetic meme complex and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We are a group of friends that create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and 100% wholesome team effort. Welcome to the rendezvous, travelers. This is our point of contact to the narrative domain. Look around you at the red walls. This place is near the dimensional shift. Do you feel it? <clears throat> The ether in the air. It's thick tonight. As it should be. As you're all in for a treat. As tonight, your tour guide will be the greatest voice actor in all of VR chat. That's right, travelers. Your tour guide of tonight, of the archaeologist, is the one, the only, Trajim. That's my babies. <laughs> <laughs> You bang your controllers out of respect, you hear me? That's pretty good. Nah, don't worry. Become the Mega Cube. Face switch. Just too bad I can't clap. Yep. <laughs> oh, dang it, it just missed. Well, well, well. What have we here? It would seem I have chanced upon a collection of travelers. This is just what I was looking for. I would like to formally invite all of you on a journey of discovery and darkness. Do you think you are worthy? Do you deem yourselves competent? Are you willing to be tested? Only time shall tell. My friends, please allow me to introduce myself. I am the archaeologist, and my destination is the great southern mineshaft. There, with the help of the professor, we will investigate whatever the miners have discovered. Some long-sealed ancient mystery. Are you ready? Before we depart, some notes. Please listen carefully. This is a story-based tour, and as with any real tour in the real world, I politely ask that you stay with me. In other words, Please, don't go ahead of me, or lag too far behind during our adventure. You do not want to end up alone down there. World music should be set to an immersive level. Please don't use blue statuses, as the instance will be private. And please make sure your avatars don't emit lights or sounds, and aren't too tall as atmosphere is very important, and the tunnels might get a little cramped. Now, you may also notice the map is going to have an echo effect. 
Well, you are welcome to talk together as we walk from place to place. Please do consider these unique acoustics of the map, and kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for narration. The spawn area is also rather small. If you walk forward or backward, you may fall off the edge. So please wait for me at the top of the stairs when we get in. And one last note. Please do not enter the portal until I give a signal. If everyone is ready, I will drop a portal for us. Please make sure you're friends with at least one other attendee, so that you can request off of them in case you need to join back. You are welcome to add any of us tour guides as friends. Once more, please wait for my signal before entering the portal. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, no. <sighs> Early doors. Oh, oh, there is turbulence. Uh -oh. I thought this was just going to break a pipe. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. Well, you can do that. Someone has a portal. My friends, portal blocker. we're quite used to this. Well, no, yeah, it's been a long time. It's man. possible that somebody is oh, perhaps going, you know? accidentally interfering with our technology. Oh, I'm workers comp now. It's but we have a backup plan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here's uh, what we're going to do. They may Good have fucked comp, it right sorry for the injury. <laughs> yeah. My friends, please listen <laughs> carefully. These are your instructions for joining tonight's tour. Please add somebody here, ideally myself or Sheen as a friend. I will go straight to the instance that I will make myself, and those who are on the Discord will be provided a link that they can use to invite themselves. Simply open the link and click on Invite Me. The tour guides, the other tour guides, will remain behind to ensure everybody gets through. Now, my friends, I will see you there, and shortly we can all start joining the world. Travelers, is that clear? Trajan will now go to the world and I will remain here. Let me know if you have problems joining. I think I sent him a friend request before he Yeah, but there you went a while. Can I join off here? Okay. I do see that you're a new girl here. Friend me if you want. Send your invite request to Trey Jim. Where am I? Or remain here, and I will assist you. Meet my new baby. I've been a taxi for many people here. Oh no, I didn't get the F. So cute. I will get out that one wipe is not enough. I don't see him in my friend. Like two traders right. in this world, See but you guys still in the community labs, we have to change them. Yep. Everyone yeah. has to change this world. I believe we need to change that. And I'll just give him at least like two minutes to load into the other world. Yeah. I'll take you in. I got you are it pulled up just in one case. One wipe of the ID of the world is not enough. Everyone should wipe past oh, smiles it twice. Then. That, you, that way you see how to get in there. The ID in. is in our Discord. Yeah. I agree, okay, dear cool. friend. For Let's it is see, as the wisdoms um... once say, If it doth be yellow, oh. let it mellow. Though I just tried to drop the portal.
This is Sparkle! It's Rainforest Cafe here. <laughs> this is VR Traveler. Why, why oh. is this place making you think of Rainforest Cafe? Of all the things. Oh! Hmm. oh the Rainforest nature sounds like just play a couple seconds. Oh, Actually, the vibe is the same. <laughs> Seriously, you think the vibe is the same? Now to do something. Yes, I do. I'm tired of it's pretending it's not. <laughs> I'm thoroughly confused. Whoa. Push you off. Oh. Push. Would be a shame, though. Whoa. Shove. I see. Need. <laughs> Need you in the dick. Ara ara. That's not nice. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Boopers. Can't work. Hey, no. I see you. No. Oh, oh, uh. no. No, I'm falling. Okay. <laughs> Don't fall now. Papa Booey. Falling is very not catchable. This is very oh, crazy. Oh, I don't always talk to the noise. Hi. Oh, well, I'm here to join tonight. Well, I was wondering if there was a part of the world. This is the first time I've heard Cajun do that. That's the first time I've heard Cajun do that. So as I was trying to say, I was wondering if I should that was my favorite thing come you've done. in the PC. <laughs> Wait, someone put that in quotes. Someone put it in quotes. Ooh, it's okay, I'm recording the stream. I'm recording too. <laughs> no, it's just fantastic. So, yeah, we'll quote it later. Send it to the Discord. <laughs> I always send it to Discord. I hope not, because it's supposed to arrive so. Friday. No, I meant just the RR. Oh, it oh uh, I'll try to. Get in touch with FedEx. I See hope I don't have happening. to hear that again here. FedEx is delayed and they don't give Please. any updates. <sighs> no, I said, I think that's how the war well, goes. Let's hope it gets well, undelayed soon. The like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a carbon and a human, and I guess it probably still wouldn't work on me anyway. I'm still not a Pokemon. That's beautiful. Oh, you're still right. Go, Carbon. I do <laughs> There are so many people. Okay. There's a lot of people, but it's not actually overwhelming. It's quite nice, actually. Oh, you know what? He's got the right idea. Play Space Drift. What about the plebeian? <laughs> it's okay, if everybody <laughs> plays Space <laughs> Drift, <laughs> then it just you know makes what? the same problem. Is that what that this is a rusk? <laughs> yep. That cool. is a rusk. Yeah. At least triples the vertical. I wanted something with good track and this is one. Hello, I'm here. Nice. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's very echoey. I know. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> This full circle. Love the reverb. You didn't say no problem. Yeah, it's very. I love reverb. I love reverb. Echo. It's amazing. Never gonna I love every second of this. This is just my favorite thing so far. Yoinky spooky. I love my. Someone was someone about to rick roll because I will punch them. Welcome to Blunky 3, please, yeah, please go don't. Go I'm sorry. Okay. Scorp, no. Scorp, no. <laughs> the man, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Scorp, no. Guys, <laughs> sorry. Guys, the armor's tail has dynamics on it. No, no, I don't know. I was only basically joking. I can't actually punch you anyway. <laughs> I know. Uh, so uh, so uh, oh, God. There we go. <laughs> Oh good! Boop. I'm not glowing him up. Oh, he's gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is You shift around to try and find I'm not glowing him up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got a land crab. So nice to see you! <laughs> it's kind of weird that some people actually are going down there. For space. <laughs> oh, I mean, we got to go check the huge chair. Make you have to know that. I lost the game of Yu Gi Oh! Oh, we're all three of them. Oh. I'm gonna find some more uh, space. Nice shark suit or dragon suit. It looks really. You should not be there in the branch. You should make it so you can switch into this whenever on your avatar. Yeah. I, 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 need to, I need to go back. Hey, hey, you can, for some reason, I'm really lagging right now. Two separate avatars, because then the poly count would get too ridiculous. That's true. 
Fuck that poly count. <laughs> I kind of don't want to never get what I want. Just from loading my avatar. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, Do you want. Man. Man. Because I take it. You remember him, right? Let me see. Um, who are we missing? No, we need the plot, the, the class penguin guy. There what, he ha is. what happens if there I poke his eye? Jake. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. 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 I remember you from um, Skipper. Skipper. Um, Skipper. There we go. Skipper. There we go. Skipper. Oh. Uh, he just, uh, the class, no, that was private. Penguin man. Uh, there's an old guy in a. Yep, uh, uh, no, no! Yeah, there he goes. God, me. There he also goes. <laughs> I think this is better. <laughs> <laughs> I made it! I think this is better since we're going into a mine. Whoa, I'm like super oh laggy right I'm right like, I wanna- Whoa. Where is I thought I was scanning door for a can, second. Can, 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 all of our- Well, to your attention, please. <laughs> Oh, cool. I ask your silence. Yeah, so pretty much I've got like a bunch of friends here. Anyone who is downstairs. Cool. Okay. We are about to begin. Yep. Welcome to the great southern mineshaft. The archaeologist has spent weeks crossing uninhabited mountains to come to this place. All the excitement that had slowly dripped away during his wearying journey rushes back as he descends this first ladder. The archaeologist is a young and talented man, a pupil of knowledge, a bright, promising mind and the assistant to the professor. The professor had arrived a week prior and should be waiting for him somewhere below. Together, they are the first in the field to see these newly discovered ancient sites in person. The archaeologist is excited by the chance to finally prove himself to the professor. The foreman of the mine meets the archaeologist, and they converse casually as they descend the first level. The concrete shaft smells of goody smoke and sweat, and all the miners are wearing masks that obscure the entire face. My friends, please carefully follow me. Please carefully. Hello there. Do something like jump off. Hello there. I mean, unless you're a pro like the army. Hello there. General. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello 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 there. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I have not seen it yet. Please do not spoil. It's spoiler alert. Wait, why haven't you seen the Jujutsu Kaisen? I haven't seen I any of the shows. Yeah. What do you do? No, this is for yeah. us. Yeah. I think. Time to spoil all. Oh my God, that is a very cool Jujutsu Kaisen Ooh. panda. Are you the one that has a little bit of like background? We do not care to spoil. Thank you, Kittle. The foreman explains that the professor is just ahead. Buddy stops by the supply room and has someone give the archaeologist an oil lantern, a safety helmet, and a flashlight. The archaeologist notices a heavy steel door with armed guards standing either side of it, also masked. But the foreman pulls him away before he can give it any more thought. This way, friends. The L cardboard box. No, bad. The metal Here's the cardboard box. Oh. What? What? I have to do the L something, viewers. I'm not gonna lie, chaps. It smelled like absolute oh, ballsack in there. Whoa. <laughs> but we are in a. I don't want to know. Dark, craggy old mine. I ran into something. 
collapse at any minute. Could collapse at any minute. Eh. Do you want me to change that minute to a second? I do have a drill. Don't. Oh god. Please don't. Eh, I'm pretty sure if anyone's, uh, if anyone's going to kill us, it's me. Gosh dang it! You're right. Whoa. I mean, I right, think Trajim? a chunk of us could actually handle a cave-in. Well, a virtual Probably. real life best story. That's not real life obviously like that. so. Yeah, that's a very different story. What did everyone else think of the Kenobi series? I thought it was good Light. so far. So, so so don't far. step past the perimeter. Oh, we got room. Yep. Guys, do not step past these these rocks. Oh. You, yep, you're not stay on this side. Rock. Please don't miss the rocks. Yeah, yeah. This yep. side. This is my While we are here, do not pass those block the line. Yep. Don't do it. Do not the line. Do not cross the no line. Wood line. I almost crossed the line. There's oh, a hot fire though. The wood. There he is. The man himself. The professor. Kneeling outside what appears to be a line of wooden stakes. The archaeologist, eager to learn, ready to prove his worth, excitedly greets the professor. The professor does not return the greeting. He does not stand. He does not lift his head. Instead, he continues to sketch, and he says he is now standing in what he has named Ritual Cave One, and he promptly gives the archaeologist a task. My friends, this is your first quest. Your instructions are to collectively observe anything unusual or noteworthy about the unnatural features of this room, and then come back as a group and describe to the professor what you see. To those who have done this before, feel free to stand aside. Your time begins now. Also, none of you go inside the, the lines. God damn it. Wait, there, oh. Not that it actually Whoops. None matters. of you go inside yeah, the world. Yeah, I'm just trying to explain. I know, how like, like how you follow yeah. that would be nice. Whoops, my bad. See, I'm okay. Are we supposed to, like, look around? You can go on the side. Yeah, you know that. But you can do it without. Yeah, you try not to go inside the over here. Okay. Why is that a lie? The perimeter of stakes is the important part. Then I will. Fuck this creature. There's a lot of all the way over here. There's a lot, there's a lot of like green. Fire, there is wood stuff I see. And a lot of green What do you think? Let's see. Your eyes have no pupils. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I thought I found a good clue. I'm just sitting back here so I can kind of see. I guess those would be the pupils. Ah, look how odd this is. This is pine wood and cedar wood. Why would they have two different kinds of woods? Interesting. Been a lot of people actually. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, people are kind of actually trying to get some. Some absolute bullshit. What should they do? Think that that's bad or is it just okay? Well, it's harder to Please. explain everything when yes, yes, exactly. you know, one per well, a few people know the answer, and not everyone does. Does this yeah. seem yeah. ritual like when the way it's set up? Well, not only that, have a like look at these you know, wooden you know, stumps. Yeah, there was no these wooden <laughs> stumps <laughs> forming <laughs> this perfect line. Why have they been patched in so much that they provide focal coverage? That is the question. Demons? Hmm. No, there were 30 people going people. on tours even back in the archaeological site. Yeah, really. There's currently 41 people here. That makes sense. Most of them are new. Wow. I don't know where all the new people came from, to be honest. Uh, you know, I brought one. Okay. I just joined because I never experienced a good ending before. Mine is locked. 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 M
I'm sure I missed the, rocks I missed can this. be round, but that was the long side over there. I don't trust that rock. Yep, you're right. Uh, I'm just saying. I would wait, but here we go. Excuse me, your time has expired. Exactly. Okay, I see what I have to do. Oh my god. Oi! There is across the cabin, yonder, your time is expired. <coughs> gather round, friends, gather round. Now, if you could please raise your hand or make a signal noise for volunteers. Who would like to offer their thoughts first? Um. So. A noise. I, I Who is that? I saw some. Scorpius, go ahead. Was I... Here we go. Yes, yes. So. Um. Someone. Someone found a door. Like. Over. On that side. <laughs> I don't know if that's like relating to anything, but. I'll show you later. Um. Mm. Um, okay. A door. Yeah, that's that's how that's a door. Adorable. <laughs> Was there anything else? <laughs> oh <laughs> fucking Z. <Zeta. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Torador. <laughs> Punny even. Um You'd say it was a door to force. Not... The door to Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> no. Oh, very well. Darkness. There was the door to darkness. Another volunteer. Yeah, Thank you, Scorpius. Else. Somebody else. Mm -hmm. Did you say Mor is he Mor Is Trey Morbin out? Should we try something? <laughs> no volunteers. <laughs> Does this look like an empty cabin to you? Do you not see anything? Yeah. Cole no. Cow is raising their hand Bueller. here. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Apologies. Mueller. All avatars are disabled. I can't tell who's raising their hand. Koi. Also, what are kind of like in the X pile? There's like one in the corner and then one in the middle. Ah, oh, yes. Well spotted. The X piles. I like that. The X marks the spot. <laughs> My favorite show. <laughs> Let's do it with one more volunteer, friends. One more volunteer. Oh. Someone's getting a Netflix special. X marks the spot, though. Someone talk about the rocks! Woo! I might, I might have an observation. It's more of a. Please make an observation. Oh, yes. Dwayne oh, the Rock Johnson. My friends, I ask you silence. It's more about the wood right here. Was this originally a wall, or did they just put tiny in here, so maybe they broke down a wall that was covering this. They put the wooden pile. Ah, oh, Dragon's 24th Flame. That's the question, isn't it? Ooh. Well, the story continues. Thank you, friends. Ooh. The professor cuts off the end of the archaeologist's answer with his own. Oh, please, he says. It is quite simple. A square of stakes, an elevated stone platform, and five primitive, sacrificial pyres. No more, no less. The professor apologizes that the archaeologist came all this way for nothing, but tells him he is welcome to wait in the supply room whilst he finishes the studies on his own. The archaeologist feels his blood boil, but he bites his tongue and leaves the professor be. My friends, you know what's coming this way. <laughs> That was very. Uh, yes. A long time for the very, very year.
Very, it very was the first time I was like, wow, I'm seeing better trades than I do with Cam as they do this. <laughs> you. You. Yeah, we're sacrificing But when there's five, so that's clear we're it's trying to sacrifice moment. more than one. Well, that was the first, just first time I heard it, I was like, wow. We're we're this community is really something. These voice actors are really something. This community is so. This community oh, yeah. Is so. There's so many people. You know, sometimes Indeed. I wonder why I ask, because yeah. the answer always seems to be me and my suffering. Oh, Good. yeah. Well, you, you offered yourself as tribute. Congratulations. All I did was you. ask, how does that relate to offering? Life Thank you, Elman, for your contribution you to society. No, it's not. I think it's perfectly sound. Sacrifice. 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 No, you're not. Bullshit. I wonder what this does. Move them luscious cheeks. You're immortal. This is Ken. What? I'm sorry, what? Everyone is here. Hey! Wait, we're playing Smash Bros? Or if you want to do the Super Smash Bros. Brawl theme. Outside the supply room, the mountain wind whistles in the distance. The archaeologist overhears some of the miners whispering about some sort of magnetic disturbance. A barrier preventing entrance to something ancient in the forbidden lower floors. The archaeologist cannot resist. He didn't come all this way to watch the professor draw a pile of wood. He did not spend countless nights scrutinizing research papers by candlelight, toiling away in unforgiving desert heat, fighting off dehydration and fevers and bandits and wild beasts and malaria and avalanches and starvation. To watch the professor draw a pile of damp sticks! <laughs> no. No, 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 no. The archaeologist knows what he must do. He built the stem, the great southern mine shaft. He will make the new discoveries. He will overcome anything for the recognition he knows he deserves. Yes, he will become the professor. When the guards are not looking, the archaeologist blinks away and descends deeper. Good job, guys. Oh my god, I don't know. Excellent. Oh, Inhale. Team effort. Okay, that's from this place. just proof that it's very uh, unhealthy in these. Um, in these Cavern, something well, lads, okay. just like me on a Saturday evening, we're gonna go down the southern chamber. Oh, look, it's Prince Vegeta. He's using the good one. I will inhale. I am the best. Be kind friends. to impale people, Lon. How does it feel to be second banana yes. to go? That's not specific enough. Second banana, you say? <laughs> I will not speak of Kakarot. You will always be second banana to Kakarot. I love bananas. Suck my second banana of Kakarot. <laughs> but do you love the second banana? banana. Oh, the what? I like the third one. Ooh. It's an yeah, mm. There's nobody down here. No miners. No professor. No howling wind. Only cold. 
comforting silence and the stench of smoke and grease. He lights his oil lantern and begins his own journey of discovery, giddy with anticipation. Who else is giddy for this? Giddy up. I am. As long as if there's anything I know, it's that I'm absolutely fizzing at the bum hole. Whoa. That's nice. Whoa. That was a bit too descriptive. Yes, that's too descriptive. Give me your bum hole. Oh, point, that's actually. Cool. Me. I am kind of very hot. I need TP for a bum hole. <coughs> I'm lactose intolerant. I hate it. That's I'm unfortunate. Intolerant. Intolerant. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Truly a tragedy. <laughs> Any more? Well, at least you know my weakness. <laughs> Milk. What the yogurt? That's another one. <laughs> Gee, my friends, watch your step. Just ahead is a simple spike trap. It would spell a painful end to this new adventure, but do take a look as you pass, or the trap seems entirely undisturbed. Therefore, the archaeologist is confident that he is the first one to be here. This way. Oh my god, someone hung Geo! Well, it looked like he was being oh, hanged by this. What? Dude, Bro, I actually just jumped down there. Dude, I can't, yeah, dude, you can't, ha can't hang me anyway. Do you know why? <laughs> you know why you can't hang me? Because I'm a fucking robot. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Don't, 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 don't pass the pegs. Don't pass the pegs. Please do not pass the wood stakes. What the? Wait, it just leads back over here. Wait, no, it's different. <laughs> no, it is the same. Is it? Different. Is it? All Scorpius? happy memories. <laughs> I remember that piece of wood. I have no idea. You're, see you're seeing things, but I am too. Are you? I might be. I'm taking advantage of this to mess with you guys. Why? Very Not messy of you. Gee. We've Why been tricked. You guys take advantage of messing with me. Why can't I have my turn? You don't get your turn. Like, he's trying to poke me with his, uh, weak bamboo stick. That just tickles. You're the little man. Yeah, I've seen him use that bamboo stick to just bend down and don't test him. <laughs> yeah, it might just be a bamboo stick, but he knows how to wield it, for sure. He has that bamboo Yes, I know how to handle my stick. Yeah, tell him why. Hey! 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 <laughs> sure you can- Travelers. The Encephalon has observed your choices. However, it will not allow deviations from the memetic recordings. Thus, the story continues. The archaeologist finds himself in... Help! Ritual Cave 1? No, it, it cannot be. There is no sign of the professor. And he didn't even... What was that? The archaeologist looks across the cavern toward the far exit. And there stands a man. One of the miners just standing, looking at him. His face obscured by the mask. A minute of still silence passes. But just as the archaeologist starts to think of what he ought to say, the miner turns and leaves. Perhaps he was wrong. He shouldn't be surprised there are miners down here. The archaeologist feels he should watch his step. He presses on and decides to inspect the cave, 
My friends, this is your second quest. You are to identify the unnatural details of this room and determine to what degree, if at all, they match Ritual Cave 1. Your time begins now. Have fun, newcomers. All right, boys. Prepare to have our brains scrambled. Wait, there's a new... There's a... Hey, hey, no, 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 excellent. Get, get back here. Get back with the room. Not a part of the party. I'm going to get to sit back and watch. Jeez. I have Kakarot on speed. With the next word, then. Ending. Wait. Phase 2 of Phoenix Rush. I played more of Risk of Rain 2. I played more of that MMO I've been playing, and I've eaten a lot of my cheese. I'll take the rock. Which MMO is it? It looks familiar. Yeah. Or it looks familiar. Hold up, I'm gonna go stab some people from exploring. <laughs> Which MMO was it? It looks familiar, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Say again. Oh, MMO? Uh, fly for Fun yeah. or Fliff. Duh, oh, that's why it looks familiar. Jeez. I, I, I knew you were playing for a bit. How far did you get? If I don't. Uh, only level 8. What? <laughs> what? What? I kind of got lost. What? I was supposed to do a quest. What? To the main what? Don't, uh, look, we'll, no look, we're gonna penetrate that hole later. Just go explore for now. Yeah, so look, I don't have like over 3,000 hours. different, if anything. Yeah, if it isn't different, it's about? I don't, I don't care if you play or not. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright. Yeah. I'm probably gonna play Final yeah. Fantasy after this. My friend of mine got me into it. Uh -huh. The same? Or is it a different one? So now I'm on, I'm on this. Advising you. Cell is upset. No, not Cell, someone else. I've played with, I've played with Cell, though. <laughs> oh, your eyes. Greetings. Actually, where is Cell? Cell, do you want to play with Cell? Uh... Yeah? I actually don't know. know. I think he gets weird. After I'm a slick. If I don't fall asleep, right, do you want to? Yeah. Alright, I'll under that mask. I need help queuing up for, uh, for no, I'm, I'm so lagging no, right no, now, I assume I'm stuttering. Uh, yeah, we can play. Yes. Yeah, I'll no, you're no, not stuttering at all for us. Uh, uh, no, not at all. Yes. Um, okay. How tight is that on there? If you, yeah, yeah, everything seems pretty You might want to hide... You might want to use your settings to turn off all the apps on anyone who's not listed as a friend. Mm-hmm. I see. I'm really tired. If There's like yeah, so I have one flip chance that I'll fall. Yeah, I have a. I've been unfortunately crashing like different times. How's Luna? So I guess I'll try that. Thank. You. Oh, I have. I've like yeah, hopefully it'll come back. lowered my settings to Thank potato you. and it's still. Did you find anything in this port? Yeah. So you've gone to Indonesia. Even though avatars will help you with immersion, feel free to hide them all. If it's I can't tell if those like if those stone steps yeah. over there were different, but that might. Be Zero. So you safety level to max. Yes, yeah, your adrenaline is broken. And also Low. your phone. Yeah. Turn that down. Just like quickly spam every button on your computer. That's pretty much the best recommendation for sure. I'm just. Probably I'm gonna pet your tail. Yeah. Oh, I think so. Oh, I well, if it goes up, I know what you look like. Like me, baby! Like <laughs> well then, <laughs> my friends, your time has expired. Please bring it in. Come here, everyone. Come here. Time's up, time's up. Oh, there we go. Well, volunteers for the task at hand. Please make a noise. Hello? Board Malik, was that you? Uh, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> you did suggest a name. I hope that was satisfactory. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no. <laughs> What do you have? Aside from puns. I have a seat. Literally. <laughs> ah. The taxi's on yellow. <laughs> what in the hell? Wow. Uh, bro. <sighs> Is there more I can do? I must. You must forgive me. I've been in and out of this reality oh, a few God. times. I'm partially here. No. Hey, hey. Board Malik, your contribution is better than I ever could have imagined. <laughs> Do you know what a slow of course it is. Like? In fact, we're going to go straight to the next scene. Okay. After a short found a clue. going over everything <laughs> he can, the archaeologist decides that any similarities are a coincidence. Or perhaps intentional. But the room is physically a different room. And he thusly names the space. Ritual Cave 2. He is confident that he has made a new discovery. But it, if he goes back to tell the professor now, he will surely be scolded for descending without authority. No, he needs something more impressive. He decides to continue. I found a clue. Oh, no, I found so See, many clues. Now we go down the hole. Oh, it's everything you ever wanted. Yeah, there you go. We're penetrating. Oh, no, so I guess that other game. Oh. We're penetrating. Here we go again. We're penetrating the cave. Whee! I got out. <laughs> okay, all right. Super Smash Bros. Like, this is exactly like my colonoscopy. <laughs> I mean, if you got this many stones in your colon, I think you got bigger problems. No, no. Like a, I'm just saying for penetration. Yeah, we are a whole The walls of your colon are quite rigid compared to the average person. I mean, this is solid rock. Gosh dang it. It's already in the gutter, man. You can't, you can't drag it out. Get it out of there. Fan fiction I wrote about this already. Get what out of where? Mine you don't got the gutters. Twisted and wound God, through the holes. The cab is Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> there are just not enough Fs in the world to send you. Did it just make L-Man suffer night? He did it. Yes. My immersion is shattered. <laughs> or did your immersion improve? No. Oh, my immersion oh, is enhanced. That's really ass. My immersion to the story, cannot be really. This is the story. <laughs> what the what was that? Maybe the story oh, was the nice friends we made along the way. They're I'm answering your call. True, like true. Very important to the narrative. We're back here again. Gee, this looks familiar. Ah, fuck it! I need to I cannot see through all these people. Guys, guys, guys. What if the re what if the real archaeol- What if the real trip? What if the real history of the caves? What's the friends we made along the way? Nell, shut up! <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Fine. An accident. Fine. Fine. Uh, oh, it was a resounding going, now. Going, going prime map. Going prime map along the way. Exactly. Go try another oddity of stuff on the wall. Okay, dear man, you get blood. Bark, bark. Don't ask, I just need it. I need my squad. See, there's one right there. Cocaine oh, down the true friend helps a friend in need. Well, it is a drug. Yes, well, my friends, I, my friends. Take it. The story continues. Huh. It seems the archaeologist has found himself back in the central shaft. He can hear the miners above and below him. But it doesn't sound like the professor has noticed that he's wandered off on his own. All the better. The archaeologist ascends to the next floor. This way. 
Let's see if I can take the shortcut. <laughs> where are we? Where are we dropping? Hey, I didn't break my limbs. That was excellent parkour. Parkour, parkour. That's not hard to do. Yo, is this not that? Apparently, I did better than Vegeta, so that. Wait, you're my friend. And Vegeta doesn't go the right way. Please don't go ahead of me. If you go ahead of him, you die instantly. Oh no! Don't go a foot of him either. You die, and the tour just ends. If you go ahead of him, you die after an indeterminate amount of time. I thought that's how I ended up here. I mean, it's almost every consequence, though. In the end, we'll be just asleep. You know, maybe the real death was the friends we made along the way. Shut up. <laughs> Hearing okay. someone shout help uh, uh, from you some corner it. of the game. No, no, I'm yeah, fine yes. now, chaps. Thank you. Carry on. This doesn't seem right. Broken bars? Is this part of the mine? Oh, there are no miners here. The archaeologist pauses to listen. Boop. Ah, there it is. Ever so faint. A distant hum. A droning sound. He proceeds carefully. I didn't think you could hear my AC go off. We're gonna proceed carefully at all. We're gonna go guns a blazer. We're gonna be go, so go carefully. Nice. Careful. 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 No, no, lads, lads, we're looking for a doing? drone. As he said, there's a droning sound. So let's look for that drone. I like this logic. I, I, I'm droning in your logic. Droning in your logic. I'm going to have to Droning me. Have Listen, fun. as the narrator said, there's no miners here. We're all over 18. Is anybody. Is anyone else in the room? Or is this just a oh, oh, player oh, camera? Oh, 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 Come on, man. Oh. Are you okay? Things could be better. Complicated answer. It looked like you actually fell. Poking with the stick. More Does anyone else concrete. think the narrator's got a real? Oh. <laughs> so, the same time. He is still in the mine shaft. Uh, no. uh, the she? Yes. It's coming from the generator in the small room back there. Mm. It must be keeping these lights on. He decides to rummage through the larger room. Perhaps there might be something useful lying around. A question swims to the front of the archaeologist's mind. Shipping crates. Why? He double checks that there are no miners around and finds a crowbar. And he carefully pries a crate open. And inside is not what he expected. Dozens and dozens of ceramic humanoid figurines. Some as big as a skull, others no larger than a knuckle bone. And they are old, very old, with flakes of paint. The remaining and carved, elaborate patterns denoting various styles of clothing, quite unlike anything he has seen before. The only aspect of the figurines he finds baffling is the faces or lack thereof. While the rest of each figurine is rich in detail, the face has just one dot for a mouth and a smooth black blank surface where the eyes should be. It feels wrong. It feels very wrong. The archaeologist puts them all back and closes the crate. Then realizes.
guesses what this might mean. Perhaps he was not the first one to have explored these ancient tunnels. The archaeologist realizes something. He is not alone. He sees it, just as he lifts his gaze from the corner of his vision. A miner peering through the grimy window at him, mask obscuring the face. But he vanishes as quickly as he appeared. The archaeologist stands and dusts his gloves. Is he being followed? Observed? Just what are the miners up to? Did they not want him to discover this place? Or did they intend on it? Well, nobody's stopping him. He must be fine. Yes, everything is fine. This way. Yeah, everything is totally, one hundred percent. Totally fine. <laughs> We're all going to die. Someone's going to die. Someone's going to die. Everything. We're all going to die. Everything, 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 everything is We're all gonna going die to be all right. Okay, who's going to volunteer to be the first one to die? Nothing will not ever me. be all right, okay? No, it will not be either, so it's one of you. Hi! Not me. I think. I keep hearing a breeze blowing through the caverns. How does that make any sense? That's the thing. Down this deep, it doesn't seem like there should be. Unless we connect to some sort of... It's a boulder. Well, larger. It's a rock. <laughs> it's not Wait, just a boulder. <laughs> it's not a boulder. I got a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> I got a rock. Sellers used to ride these babes for miles. It's not just the rock, as long it's Dwayne. As you love me, who you are. The archaeologist comes to a much larger cavern with pathways high and low. He wants to find another tunnel as high up as possible. My friends, in a moment you'll be free to explore this room burn some energy, but please do not leave this chamber or enter any tunnels. Simply look around, and then when you're done, locate another tunnel and gather there where I will be waiting. Well, run along. <laughs> Hopefully all you have. By oh golly have gee, I'm surrounded oh, by minerals. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know why I've come to exploration. That's really hard. I don't know if that's struck me in a way that those words don't usually strike me. I'm glad. Dive a kick. God damn it, why is this? I thought I smelled a clue, sir. I know how much you like clues. I smell someone who doesn't listen. Ooh. 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 I have, I have made it. Yeah. I have that made was it. was a knife to the pancreas. Pancreas. F7. Oh, oh my pancreas. pancreas. Well, let's slap with the TF2 fan. Letterman, where are you, wheezy baby? Are you what? I don't know. Karen, where are your wings? You oh, can imagine if I ask, please. Turn the crazy. Is the room stuck? Are we allowed to explore? Imagine, imagine. That's kind of crazy. Are we allowed to be. Are we allowed to explore a little beyond this room or just imagine, this room alone? Imagining of imagination. And also, you know you're kind of stabbing yourself with the bamboo stick. We're all a bit there. Well. He's a panda. He's, he's, he's just eating. <laughs> it's, it's I don't really think you stick. I just pick, exactly. I just poke people with it. You know, like. Are we allowed to explore the room just beyond the cabin he's there as well? Stirring around like, with his uh, brain so that he can activate his. I don't room. even want to know what you're trying to poke that time. Look, uh, you see, uh, well, I've been yeah. 
Oh, I thought it's a really long stick. Hope you like it. I haven't been here in a long time. Plus, oh, I'm drinking a bit right now. It's Saturday. Only on Saturday do you drink. Good rap. I'm gonna solve for the fans of first. This one's not. You're a soft bird. Come here, then. Hi. Come here. Where are you? I'm bound to tell you this, but you're always surrounded by minerals. Wait, what? Dun dun dun. I never let go. Like What's too. this baby? I'm gonna go get my pumpkin! It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. In other circles that I was in, this was known as Doomed Panda. Huh. Anyway, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, Thank you for I'm a little silence. drunk now. This way. <laughs> That's cool. Everyone's still in this room. Okay. Oh, it's dark. Who said they were drunk? They chunk off, off the Wait, fumes in this so cave. Wait, what? Uh, no, I'm, I'm drinking uh, 66 yeah. cord. This looks familiar. Hmm, we fall into the hole again. <laughs> what the heck was that? I got a hole. Ah. Here we go. Oh, the loudest part. That's how you know we're wholesome. Yes. You could say it's a Very whole cool. new world down here. A whole new world! <laughs> It's all right, guys. I'm playing Mega Man. I know how to do platforming. But have you done platforming, platforming? in VR chat? It is not the same. It's a whole different beast. Yeah, Very different. Yeah, it is. It's like synthetic skin. I have done mountain climbing in VR. Okay, gotcha. That ain't easy. It's also very tiring. Oh yeah, climbing carnival was nuts. Did anybody I else like know how walked over some of those ritual logs? The archaeologist hmm. sees a challenge. Old wooden beams he can use to cross this shallow pit, lit from above by a daylight. This far below the surface? The archaeologist perishes the thought and crosses. My friends, at this point, please proceed at your own pace across this brief parkour and wait for me on the other side. We will help you if you require assistance, and I will cross last. Oh, wow. Hug the up touch. First one across. Someone said they play and shoot me. Jump and shoot me. Oh my god, I pressed the button. Jump and shoot me. Don't teach me how to cheat. I was pretty sure Kyle was going to fly for a second. Come on, Elman, it's simple. You just jump and shoot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my, my brain. God damn it, the I don't know if I can flick this fast enough. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Each. Right. Yeah. First try! Victory. Oh, yes. look at that! I'm not sure that, that was the first try. That, 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 that is what you think, Dick. First that try. That was the first try. Nah. Oh, excuse I, me. I think the jury is still out on that being the first try. First try. Oh, yeah. Wait, I yeah, that, that, that was the first try. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't need any evidence. Up. There we go. The first try. <laughs> oh, man. I think you need don't it. <laughs> it was the first try. <laughs> hey, 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 attempt hey, to man. Die. You did good. Imagine doing things on the oh, first saber. try. Kind of cringe. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, man. I don't see a guy with a lightsaber here. I see it. Okay. 
Oh, a cock. <laughs> you know what? Actually, never mind. I do see. It. I'm just gonna not even say. It. I think good. I. I see where you're going. Jokes. Hey, is the controller giving you difficulties? Like, they've got a lightsaber just yeah, for Yeah, even I got tired of it, so... Using, uh, so yeah, I didn't completely finish the joke, and, so. and a Oh, God, I, I, hit a, yeah. I hit a lag spike. I hit a lag spike. Wait. I keep uh, watching this field just roll off. spikes. I just no, want the regular point and the regular spice. They, they There's they money over just, here. Get over here. make you go. You're glitchy in the world around you. Well, so, are you planning on staying there? I'm going to use my old version and listen to my gender version interchangeably since I have different things on each avatar. Okay. Alright. Because I put too much work into this to just throw it all away at the end of this. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what we're missing. No. Well, yeah. Guys, I totally legitimate. <laughs> I don't know. You're putting yeah, me on the spot. How am I supposed to know? I totally no, I didn't. I did this first try. No, yeah, me too. Totally first try, buddy. Doing things first try is cringe. You don't learn anything that way. Well, it's more badass. Wait, wait. Wait, cat. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna land right here. Right here. Uh, I love it when the jump button doesn't work. I get getting pushed over by this pussy cat. Wow. There you go. Oh dang it. Wait, I have an idea. Button didn't work. One hint, one hint I can best say is hugging the walls. That has helped me a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has helped us. Let's go, lad. I would say get good. But mm -hmm. that's not constructive criticism. <laughs> yeah, it is. Depending on who you ask. <laughs> I'm guessing he crashed. Well, thank you, my chair Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> mm. Phenomena. Never. Don't. Don't even try. Manamada. Does anyone else think that the cube's got a real sexy voice? Yes, that's the whole point well, of us being that's here. the whole point. Yeah. Yeah. So the type of voice you want to take, so give us thanks. So you're saying that the cube has sex appeal. This is not a cult. <laughs> the jumping so mechanics you know, in this game is really wonky. The thing you take I'm home, give him a trap to chase me on my immortal comprehension. Say that last part all over again. I wish the jumping mechanics in this game were less wonky. I need to go to the underground for semantics. Gotcha. Because like you can jump and then you press and you press like forward and then it'll and, and, and it'll listen carefully. The power of your voices, the power of your wills, enable Trajan to make this jump. I repeat, if you do not unify, he will not make it. It's up to you, travelers. Don't worry about it, archaeologist. Oh, uh-oh. Like Rocky oh, just God. does not like people being more badass than him at, um, at parkour. Oh, no, I'm just honest. And I know we've done it our first try. No, I'm just being honest. This room looks familiar. I think. No. That's what they all say. It's not worth the energy. Wow. This is interesting. Is it? Is it interesting? <sighs> yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a matter of personal opinion. The archaeologist steps into... Wait. It's not no, more comfortable. it cannot be. Can it? We must find out. My friends, this is your third quest. Okay. The task is simple. Is this room the same as Ritual Caves 1 and 2? Have you been paying attention? Your time begins now. I haven't. The answer is... Perhaps. Let the newbies do it. Don't spoil it. Alright, the answer is on a scale between yes and no. James! Get out of there! We don't want to sacrifice you. What's well, a maybe? Why do? Uh, why don't we? I think. Uh, it's James from Team Rocket. Why would you sacrifice such a hilarious character? I just think uh, human sacrifice is uh, kind of cool sometimes, you know. Especially if someone you care about. Wait, what? Doesn't make any sense. The pain in your heart. You know, emotions are not even strong. Yeah, good. Oh. Doesn't look. This don't look. This don't look right. This is really nice. All right, is that a brain surgery? Come here, little Pokemon. Come here. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. Come here. No, no, no. no. And now the pack lever has been dealt with. I, I swear to God. Hmm. Oh. I am oh. investigating things here. That what? should be enough time for all three of you to finish. My friends, your time has expired. <laughs> Talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> friends, your time has expired. Please gather round. Now, I saw some of you exploring this space. So, volunteers, what have you concluded? My best answer is that. It is both the same room and not at the same time. Ooh. You have an explanation for this? Well, my best ex my best explanation or hypothesis: the dimensions of the room are the exact same, down to the steps that you see on the other side, even to the splintered wall wood here, and this exact same gap appearing in the ritual uh, barrier. However, we are both either too deep. We're too deep for sunlight, yet we saw sunlight. So the question is, if we were able to even see sunlight at this distance, is this the same cavern? It could be. And it could be a different form of it due to some sort of unexplained phenomena that defies the laws of physics. That's my best guess. <laughs> it is both the same and not. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Um, he's doing that. Am I the only one answering? I feel really awkward now. No, I believe I figured it out. No, you didn't really find that. It was <laughs> yeah, pretty really interesting. Yeah. It's one at a time. You can answer. Your contribution is most fascinating. Yes. Very. Well, <laughs> someone else before we continue. Yes, sir, so, I think I figured it out. Slave. Quite clearly, the person that has come here has got Alzheimer's. He's tried to build five houses and kept forgetting. <laughs> Hence why there's five piles. <laughs> this is the resource farming. Let me get that's the best oh, time to pick up the back in my entire life. I think my brain is going to be correct. I think, yeah, I think you should correct. That's so unexpected. I mean, every time to get to this that room, it gets so progressively true. harder. That's all I know. That took a lot. I mean, if you, I, know. I mean, if you think about it on a metaphysical well. level, it could, this, this whole place could be Alzheimer's, like, given form. Slade, now that you mention it, perhaps there is someone here who has Alzheimer's. But I won't say who. Was the uncle just it checks me? the room over and decides that this is a separate, yet mostly identical room. Yes, Ritual Cave 3. 
confused, yet intrigued as to what lies ahead. The archaeologist proceeds, knowing that every step takes him closer to a grand discovery. This way, friends. And yes, this Friend is, is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. You were standing so still I thought you were dead. <laughs> oh yeah, Ren Dizo, I'm sorry. I uh I requested off of you but I don't like this. I found this amazing bucket. Or as we call it, a fuck it. Oh, the bucket bucket in the bucket. Wait a minute. Dang it, the thing doesn't work. I wanna try and have like, get us out of There's here. There's nothing up there. Just... I don't care. Oh, I want to get us out of here. Like, get you guys. We're going home. What is this? Let me grab your neck and I can pull on It's a bucket! That way. This isn't a grand discovery. But it seems that the miners have definitely descended this far. And they used this bucket to lift something out of here. Hmm. The archaeologist has one guess as to what this was used for. Still, there must be something they missed. After all, what do miners know of ancient civilization? Even with the professor's help, they are no match for the archaeologist. He will earn the recognition of his peers, and perhaps even his superiors. The professor is going to regret shoving him to the side like a discarded rat. And now we're going back. Let's a go. Let's a go. Yeah, you're still my first clue, mate. You're still my first clue. Mm -hmm. This this is interesting. See? Let's get a sing song going. It's a long way back to the surface. <laughs> this way, but I'll never tell you what I saw up there. Oh, Mogus. Oh, God, now we're going to the parkour. Meshes. <laughs> Gather here. Alright, boys. Not yet. Oops. Not yet. My friend, oh, please yeah. wait here. Oh, <laughs> Why? 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 So many people. Why? 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 Oh, geese. Back at the pit. Wait. Who is that? The archaeologist sees someone on the other side of the pit. No. Two people. Miners with their masks. But they turn and leave, taking the right hand tunnel before the archaeologist can even begin to scramble across. Well, this way, friends. Just remember, oh. lads, if there's only two... Ah, oh, dang it! I want the hardcore parkour! Rest no, in well, Why would we want to rest in pepperonis? <laughs> There's a trap. I'd rather eat pepperonis. Oh, that has fall now. Forward and backward through solid. that section without ever falling. You can eat the pepperonis one no. rest. Tell me why there's oh, nothing but a Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear. Oh man, I can hear somebody's like bird chirpings or some shit. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, I hear it too. Right away. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> Tell me why. Ain't nothing but. You're fine, smiles, eh? The rules here. <laughs> the rules here say no falling. Right there, no falling allowed. Ooh. Look at you, baby! Are you sure we haven't already dived into a horror game? The real horror game is the horror is the friends that we made along the way. I'm pretty sure the Elder Torah you'll encounter is that difficult to deal with. You violated the law. You may have caught a fine or served your sentence. You, vi you have violated the law against Skyrim and your people. Stop! Oh. Stop right there! You have violated the law! Stop right there! You betrayed the law! You have violated the law! It's like seven deep. All seven. here. <laughs> Excuse me, Shane. Back in the main shaft, the overpowering stench of smoke and grease returns to the archaeologist. He can still hear miners all around, noises in the distance, echoing voices and clanking machinery. Looking down, there is but one more floor. Let's go take a look. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Once more into the howling dark. <laughs> Once more into the abyss. Oh, oh shit. Oh, it's dark. Who's got the thing? I just, oh, it's got my their speakers too loud. Sure. I can hear myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, Captain. My friends, this is it. This is what the archaeologist came all this way for. And then something occurs to him, and he looks up, craning his neck to see the top of the shaft. And he spots him. The professor, looking directly down at him, defiant, the archaeologist rushes onward. This way. Yeah. 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 Two have to let, crane let's my let's the the professor as we run in. I'm gonna wow. get fired. Yo, the cube is fast. I'm gonna use Go for it, go, 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 go! go. Oh, yes. Yes. Sonic speed. Stop! Get a go fist! This cave is definitely... Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Slide to the right. Two hops this time. Two hops this time. Chris Crawl. Two, two, Chris Crawl. Blame she. Mm, blame me. Oh, you're trivial. <laughs> the archaeologist comes to a large cavern filled with pillars and precipices, stalactites and stalagmites. My friends, in a moment you can explore this new space. First, make sure, as before, you do not leave this chamber, or enter any tunnels. But do see how many other exits you can locate. And well, break. you can look around. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at Oh, that's <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, no. Are you sure you're okay? okay? Do you have any broken bones no, like no broken I usually bones? do when these fall? Oh. Hey, 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 what are you doing? No, I, I, I took last time. I got wings. 
So I'm good. All right. Woo. You can play some. Go! Yeah, this is my home. Yeah, it's a good home. Well done. Well done. Spam, spam, boys. Spam it. Jin, good to see you, lad. Come on. Hmm. So this is. Jin, by the way, my missus is mad at you because apparently you've been flirting with her too outrageously. That's your fault. For being too. Outrageously. No, it took me several times. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, look, right, let's go back up, back up, back up, boys. That's on him. Right, I'm off. I'm gonna leave you two to clean up this mess. Oh, yes. Oh, you. Just saying, I'll totally leave you for you. It may be easier to jump you. No! Oh, thank God. Tom. The worst that could happen is you can snap your virtual legs like that guy did. That's the worst that could happen. Now that you know the worst, come on through. It's too crowded over here. I'll stay around this way where there's a little more elbow. I have the ability to do so. Yes. Mmm. How am I meant to get up there? Jump the walls. Right here. Hackerman's next. Hackerman's next. Hackerman is ready. Long live the king. Long live the thrill king. If I had arms, I would show you all because it'd be funny. Just waiting for everybody Cast Casted into the fire! You okay there, Pac? No worries. Okay, there's two more people. Yeah. Um, it's so claustrophobic. Okay. I fucking... I forgot to meet my, meet my beer chick, Mike, didn't I? <laughs> yes, we heard very loud <laughs> I muted noises. just the recording, Mike. <laughs> Well, at least we won't hear it on the recording. Yep, yes we will. We're talking about Pac's recording, because Pac is also recording. Mm. I'm waiting for the platforms ahead to kind of clear up a little. That copy, right? Thank you. Uh-huh. You're a very aesthetically pleasing chair. That's what I try. Yeah, this gives me the chair. If I fit, I sit here. I mean, it's part of the natural I think we're all up high, ready to continue. You know, I heard about putting highlights in your hair, but your outline is kind of taking that to the extreme. My friends, up here, please. This way. I'm too sexy for the tour guide. Oh, too sexy Mikey. for the tour guide. Whoa, it's another one. Yay! So much fun. <laughs> Good, Elman. God, it's orgy hole number five. Four. Yeah, I guess we gotta get gathered over here. I think his hair would creep me. I don't know if anyone caught that. <laughs> I don't know if he said it, but I said it. Ah, dear. He chuckles okay. as he steps this into a now familiar arrangement. Even at a glance, he is sure that this is another ritual room. Mm, ritual room four by now. But as he pauses to catch his breath, he looks about and begins to wonder. Where did these ancient people get all their wood from? The surroundings beyond the mine are rocky and barren. As far as the eye can see. But before he can think on it any further, a noise catches his attention. He spins around 
just in time to see someone scurrying back the way he came from. The archaeologist carefully follows. My friends, this way. Yeah, we're uh -huh. going back the way we came pretty much immediately. Exciting. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I fall again. <laughs> Thumbstick <laughs> drifting sucks. Wait right there. Take my word for it. Thumbstick drifting sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's go get this. Uh, let me see. You want the dog or the you bear? <laughs> Did he fall off? Just uh. Um, Here, Tech. Uh, just click on the dog. I don't want to know. Where? On me. You should be out of time. Friends, clone my avatar to fly. Okay. Fine, I'll take it off. There you go. I'll cook them when we get back to the rendezvous. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> Can't escape Good. your fate. <laughs> Excuse me. Now yeah, we're all up here. Hey, whoop. Hey, whoop. Hey, whoop. Hey, whoop. Hey, whoop. Can they get an awa awa? Waka waka. <laughs> Pack mud. Oh, you've gotta be me. I'm starting to really like this one. Boy! It's on Did you? Yes, it's on the Oh, dude, we, we could add a mirror right here. We can add uh, some chairs right there. Another mirror over there, like a transparent mirror. Uh, a low quality okay. mirror. mirror. At least seven mirror. mirrors in this room. Oh, and yeah. two yeah. video players. To a large cave. And he can tell what he's looking at. He laughs aloud to himself. Surely, surely this is some cruel jest. Or is he going mad? He perishes the thought and looks about for the miner he saw. The shadows of the large cave shift and dance as his lantern sweeps from side to side. Every little noise is echoed amplified to the point of becoming unrecognizable. His heartbeat is like a tiny man living in his ribcage, rhythmically knocking, trying to escape. Then he sees something. There is another tunnel here. He turns off his lantern and creeps toward it, holding his breath. My friends, it is absolutely imperative that you remain behind me, and your continued silence is appreciated. This way. Well, things are starting to feel more intense. Yes, well, it's great. <laughs> I'm it's not intense, it's in cave. Is it glitching for you? Ah. 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 So, uh, Please can we sacrifice the person who made that pun instead? No, that you do not fall down. Everyone gather here. Is that but make sure you do not fall down the pit. Mm, we are a little bit low, but not the story will continue once everyone is here. Okay.
No talking. The narration continues. The archaeologist finds himself at the edge of a pit with an eerie orange glow emanating from below. But he doesn't see the miner. He peers over the edge and Whoosh! The archaeologist stumbles just in time to avoid a pickaxe swung wildly at the back of his head. He lands on his side and turns to face his assailant. The silhouette of a miner stands over him, face obscured, pickaxe raised high for another blow. You have to die, screams the miner. He said it would work. He said it would work. You must die. My friends. My friends. Will the archaeologist fight back against the frenzied pickaxe-wielding miner, or will he attempt to flee and escape the mine? The Encephalon has observed your choices, Traveler. However, it will not allow any deviations from the memetic recordings. Thus, the story continues. We run. <laughs> The archaeologist decides to run. Very well. Your fate has been sealed. Uh oh The archaeologist doesn't want to die. He has come so far, seen so much. He sweeps at the miner's legs and his assailant topples to the hard ground. The archaeologist runs. My friends, keep up. Okay. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, keep up. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Run fast, run fast, run, run, run fast, run fast, run fast. I wish I learned haste. Okay. Chase scene. <laughs> Run like the wind, bullseye! Gotta go fast, Sonic! Gotta go fast! Sonic! Gotta go faster, 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 faster! Go, 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 go! Sonic! Gotta go fast! No! Let's go fast! Let's go faster! Let's go faster! Let's go faster! Sonic! Sonic! There's a reason I'm fast. Get up, get up. A murder with a pickaxe is stolen the loose. <laughs> oh man. My, why are my legs short and stubby? I need to get my knees done for you. Because you got them thick thighs. <laughs> get up, get up before you get an axe, pickaxe in your back. <sighs> my armor would stop the pickaxe. <laughs> The archaeologist makes it back to the bottom of the mine shaft. The stench of grease and smoke hits him like a wall. He waits around the corner to the entrance of the bottom floor, his heart pounding, his chest heaving. He waits for the miner for a minute, two minutes. Five minutes. Oh, nobody comes. Did he hit his head as he fell? Did the miner get lost? Well, for now at least, it seems nobody is chasing him. My friends, we must be very, very Sneaky. Oh, okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky Jim. Dun 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 dun
second floor and looks up. The two armed guards are up near the ladder talking with the foreman. Oh, he can't escape. Not just yet. But he does wonder what the professor is doing now. Does he know what's going on? The archaeologist remembers their talk from earlier. The professor mocked him made him wait, lied to his face. The archaeologist feels something billowed up inside him. Water simmering in a pot, heat slowly rising from his feet. And he makes the decision. Yeah. He is going to confront the professor. My friends, Maybe he can make it to the first floor. Nobody say a word. Word. Just kidding. What? Is that a sword I just heard? The archaeologist didn't pass anyone as he ascended. He isn't sure where all the miners have gone, but he makes the most of the empty corridors. Inside the supply room, the archaeologist gravitates toward the reinforced doors. He checks the corridor both ways and moves toward the door. The handle is cold and heavy. And as he gives it a push, he finds it's not locked. <laughs> he pokes his flashlight inside. And what he sees is immediately familiar. Piles and piles Mounds of wood, the same as what makes up those primitive sacrificial pyres. Either they collected this wood from the pyres, or, more likely, the pyres were created by somebody in the mine. The archaeologist is infuriated. Why? Why go to all this effort, setting him up like this? Why is he being mocked? He doesn't understand, and it angers him further. Well, he has his safety helmet, an oil lantern, and a flashlight. He leaves the supply room, hoping the professor is just ahead.
Eso no. Random joke. Random response. Minecraft cave noise. Random distinction. <laughs> oh. This is starting to remind me so much of Minecraft now. <gasps> I love Minecraft. The professor is here, kneeling outside the ritual space when the archaeologist finds him. And despite his best efforts to remain silent, the old man turns. The two square off, saying nothing in the dim, silent chamber. The archaeologist feels his blood simmer. Here is the man who mocked him, who ridiculed him. And for what was this old game? Is he going to be reported to the Grey City? The professor moves a little, drops something to the ground, the archaeologist only has time to see something small and ceramic before the professor's boot crushes it, shards of clay splintering as a black shadow erupts from it, bursting out violently and twisting up the professor's leg. The archaeologist catches a smile on the professor's face before the old man becomes consumed in swirling shadow. Before a dark entity stands before him, my friends, you have reached the final battle. This demon is going to decide what action to take each round, and you will have to choose your responses each time. The archaeologist's goal is whatever you decide. Light the fire. Light the fire. I think we should kill Rescue the, the professor. No, no, screw him. <laughs> this is a creature of shadow he just turned into. Do we, we still have our lantern? We should attempt to rescue the professor from the shadow. Yeah, he's yeah. a creature of shadow. Did yeah. you turn into shadow, the hedgehog? The great shadowed entity lunges straight for the archaeologist, rearing back to strike at him. What does the professor do? You have 30 seconds to discuss. Oh, oh, right. Right. He makes him attack me! Archaeologist, oh, Light the archaeologist, fire. Fire. Start That's what I said. We yeah. Run to the doors! I don't have my D20. Throw it at the. Throw it at the We don't need your D20. Whoever said that. Immediately, make run behind the board dive. Run behind a pillar. No, what do we and do? And cast a shadow with the lantern. Tricky Cat already said the right answer. Well, the question is, do we fight this with thing? With the lantern. <laughs> we should run. But he wants to listen to Mouse Man, not Cat Man. Either we run or blow out the lantern. I think blowing out the lantern might be a good idea. Last time he was explaining the answer. What Tricky Cat said. Wait, if we blow out the lantern, it's like any breed. Wait, wait. No, don't call upon me, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. doing. I would just want to eat my cheese. It's made of shadow. No. It's, and it's gonna be all around us, and it's gonna be... Your light time the is up. What piles? Okay. Uh, your the time, is why friends, we? is up. Light the fire. Dark uh, Sith uh, Lord uh, 39, 8211. What is the best idea you've heard? Yeah, but does the character uh, know about it? What? Yeah. Uh... I believe uh, a good action would probably be to light the lantern that we ha that we have most uh, that we have and and throw it at the creature, considering it's a creature of shadow, so it most likely would be very effective against and most likely a type of fire or light source would be very effective against a, a shadow. lantern attack. Very well. <laughs> The archaeologist readies his lantern, quick.
quickly turns it back up and with all his might swings it toward the shadow creature. It slams into the shadow, fire for a second erupting, glass breaking. The fire doesn't seem to really stop it. Its strike continues and it swings across the archaeologist. The archaeologist looks down at the strange warm feeling. His arm, his left arm from the elbow, was just removed. The shadow creature stands tall, confident, and a voice echoes from it. What makes you think one from such a poor family as yours could ever make it in a field like this? The archaeologist has 30 seconds to decide what to do. Run. Well, this is where I would normally Light, We're losing fires, blood, so be careful. We don't have a lantern Ask anymore. the yellow cat. Uh, we can't do that. So, encephalon. So, so we lost. Light our way, do we, don't we still we have the lantern? We're going to die. Okay. No, the yeah, lantern yeah, right. arm is gone. Yeah, so. Is there yes. oil? No, we're we're going to die. Is there... When did you listen to this yellow baby? <laughs> it's gone. We he said the right thing. Oh god, your arms. His arms are so good. I said to my. About to attack I said to my thing. Right now he's taunting us, which eh? would mean lighting the fire yeah. for this it's option, but unfortunately, we, should taunt. Yeah. we don't have a lantern to light him with. You know, when I'm slightly more drunk, you, you're a little bit more attractive. We should probably run. We can't run. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot what you were mean? streaming. We, we could, we could run either away. run, we could run away, or we could run into this ritual circle. Uh -huh. Your okay. run into the ritual time circle. has expired. Scorpius, the hedge meme, the hero of this story. <laughs> what is the best idea you've heard? Um. I've heard uh, running away being thrown around a fair bit, and I think that could be a good option. But... Running away? <laughs> Do you have another idea? We would like the fires, but you do. Well, we lost. We lost our arm. We don't have a lantern, and this thing is taunting mm -hmm. us about how we're not going to make it in a field like this. Do you, you gotta agree? be stronger than this? Boy. My bad. Well, no, because it's like, it doesn't make sense, because it's like, anybody can well, be able to do anything. if you don't agree with what is being said, do you have a response? Mm. Maybe. Probably... Tell it. Hmm. Probably tell the shadowy creature that we can do this and that it's wrong or something like that. Very well. The shadow creature glares down at the archaeologist, seemingly proud, fully self-assured of its mockery. The archaeologist takes a moment to compose himself. Actually, he says, I think you'll find that you're mistaken, Professor. If you're even still there, you are simply wrong, again, as usual. The demon is stunned. You have a free round. You have 30 seconds to decide what to do with this time. Okay, this is perfect. This is good. Help me, baby! Can we grab the lantern again, or is the lantern fully destroyed? Yeah, I mean, 
Lantern I feel like we yeah. go get our own little eyes. figure from the crate and become a shadow Can person. Can I attach Girl, my arm? That doesn't well, I'm kind of wondering if <laughs> there is any lights around. I mean, um, <laughs> are they well, all actually, actually staying in a really dark cave? We have all this wood, why can't we light it on fire? Because, uh, uh the is destroyed. The 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 yeah, yeah, how are we gonna light it on fire? There's probably on, another I'm light source somewhere. There has to be. I mean, those, there's Guys, miners some. We have a flashlight. <laughs> Actually. A flashlight? Yes, we can grab the flashlight <laughs> and just use a shard and, like, angle <laughs> it, right? And that'll cause it to cook the wood, causing fire. Yes, hey, it all works now. Do you have time to do that, though? Considering what else do we Gordon have on us? Was given a lantern when he came um, here. Wouldn't it be so, safe to assume the uh, professor have also a was given one, and he Safety may have helmet. one lying around in here that we could utilize? I think. Yeah, that would make yes, sense. Yeah. Well, we never looted him. I think Remember? we do. We can't. Well, we didn't loot the professor. There has the professor to be a right light source somewhere. I'm we saying free he may have a lantern still just sitting somewhere on the floor in this room. There has to be a light source somewhere. I was asking, asking if that should have, 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 have a light source at well, least. I There's no the light source here. here. I'm talking about the professor. Did he have a light source? I don't know, but And then cut the blood circulation and then run back into that fiery pit we found back there. Because there's light in there. To ask Trajan a question, you guys. I don't want to be in the dark. Whoa! I still like your oh, eyes. Man, are we, get we get a lantern Woo. either from the monster the or I guess if the professor yeah, hands it or whatever, yeah. and light the pyres, and that is the, the only way we thing I can do to aside heart. from you know the incentive on forcing us to win because that's what this is today. I won't lie, I'm a little stumped. Still has oil, so we have... I mean, so is our left arm, but still. <laughs> Um. Can we confront the professor on this mistake that he made? Well, he's talking. He's willing to talk and gloat that. Well, Zolid CD66, do you speak? Yes. Very well. <coughs> the choice is yours. What is the best idea you've heard? Hmm. Well, now that he's stunned for a moment, he may have a little spark of humanity still in him. And so what I would do is that I would try to reach into what little soul is left of him and try to get him to understand what he is doing and maybe pull him back from this pit of insanity that he has fallen into. Zolid, you want to make a plea to whatever humanity remains of the professor. Is that right? Yes. Correct. The professor. Well, the demon is still stunned, caught off guard by the archaeologist's response. The archaeologist, just now clutching at his half-severed arm, the pain barely beginning to kick in, looks up at the creature, its fierce glowing eyes, its swirling, thick, impenetrable shadow, Professor, I, I don't know if you're still there, but this is clearly beyond anything to do with your career or my career or anything we have studied. This is, well, frankly, I think you've gone a little too far. And I would implore you if you can, please try and find it. This, whatever you paid for this, it can't be worth it. No, 
We can work together. You and I. Please. Can you hear me? The shadows swirl, broiling. And the archaeologist blinks. And for the fraction of a second that his eyes are closed, he sees an eye fixated upon him, yet everywhere. There's something in his own right hand. He looks down, and there is the lantern, lit in one piece. <laughs> oh, yeah. The demon still does not move. You have 30 seconds to decide the archaeologist's next action. Pyromania time. We light the fire. Light the fire. And then arson and burn everything. We light the fire. It sounds like we should light the fire. I'm glad to see you again. I haven't seen you in a long time. Is this your love? Shine the lantern in the beast's face and then throw it into the pyres, hoping that the flames should alight. This is something I haven't smiled in five that. months. It's been a long time. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Travelers, friends, heroes, bored Malik. Hello there. What is Hello. the best idea you've heard? Well, it's the same idea I've heard. Hi. How are you? The idea is to shine the lantern in the beast's face before throwing it into the pyre. You don't throw... There no. are five pyres. Sorry. Hmm. Could you be more specific? Five pyres. Well... The one, obviously, the one, yeah, the closest one within our reach, if we could light it with the, uh, the lantern, that would be our only option. Light the nearest or, pyre while trying to ward away the demon with its light, is that correct? It's the best option that we have, at least from what can be seen, so yes. Whilst holding the lantern forward to ward it away from us, perhaps while it's in its stunned state, move to the nearest pyre best and option. attempt to light it. Perhaps well, not the best, but an option. We're about to find out. I'm glad I'm probably already dead, because I feel bad for this guy if this go wrong. <laughs> so, I mean, we are missing an arm and still bleeding out, so, you know. Yeah, like I said, that's true. I'm calling this guy Stumpy from now on. <laughs> The archaeologist takes a moment to observe his surroundings. There stands the demon regaining control of its body. And there, nearby, a pyre. Wood. Fire in his hand, his lantern. Without thinking, he reaches up and turns up the fire with his other hand, the fire increases, the light increases, he turns it up more, moving toward the pyre, the light increases, he turns it up, it shouldn't go this high, the light increases, the fire 
spreads outside the glass. The fire spreads and spreads. He turns it up. He turns it up. No, this can't be. This is physically impossible. There isn't enough oil. What's happening? The room is filling with fire. Everything is fire. One pyre lights. Two pyres light. Three. Four. Five pyres light. He did it. I don't believe it. All fires are lit. The flames pick up and roar. And after a moment, the fire changes from orange to white. The archaeologist scrambles out of the ritual site, and the white light grows, burning hot and bright. The demon is saying something barely audible amongst the roaring white fire. Something about a dark mimetic entity much greater in power, with a name and a language he hasn't heard before. And yet, Great Queen. terribly familiar all the same. And another name trailing in the noise. Sophia. The demon's screeches become piercing and the professor's voice is there, faintly beneath it all. The archaeologist can barely see the shadowy figure as it slowly, slowly dissolves in the torrent of light. He watches, his eyes wide until... until... The shadows are all gone. Until it's all over. Until the light and the noise fade. And the cavern returns to normal. The pyres are spent. There is no sign of the demon. There is no sign of the professor. The archaeologist leaves the empty cabin. Yeah. Man. We burned it out. Huzzah. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, at least we didn't sacrifice D, so that's a good thing. Somebody play the final the holy fantasy victory music. Actually, I'll do it myself. Burn the holy fire. I just... Uh-oh. Urn died. Hop to our victory, guys. Hop. Someone's hood. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Where'd you go? Yeah, we did it. <laughs> oh yeah, we did it. Hot dog. Yeah, I I mean we did it. It's all right, you got this. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dig it. Oh man. Dude, I love that song from like the Mickey Mouse. Hot dog, 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 Concludes.
There is nobody Yo. up here. There's nobody on the stairwell at all. The archaeologist is alone. The mine shaft, silent. He looks down and listens and thinks, taking one last whiff of the grease and smoke before ascending the ladder and leaving the great southern mine shaft. My friends, welcome to the good ending of the archaeologist. Well done. That's a better ending than the I freaking love you guys. Uh, honestly, I thought you were the creature of the night because, you know, you're like a robot and whatnot. Sweet. We did it, Patrick. Something against they robots? <laughs> my friends, my friends, this is the end of our adventure, but we have some information for you, some announcements, usual business. Woo. I will pass you back into the care of our main tour guide, Sheen, wherever he are ah, inside me. <laughs> Tour quotes, tour quotes, quo channel. Yep. <laughs> Friends, travelers, I have exciting news for you. Congratulations on <laughs> wit. Missing. The good ending of the archaeologist travelers put your virtual Yay. and your spiritual and your multi-dimensional hands together for the one, the only, Trey Jim. I slam my controller. Awesome. That was great. Travelers. Mm -hmm. Yes. You love this, you say. The greatest experience I heard another one say. Did you hear that, Trey Jim? The greatest experience in VRC. Yes. That was our goal. Well, guess what, travelers? We get to past another limit of your imagination. That is... Your physical limit of drop damage because now oh, oh, I request we all take a group photo at the bottom floor of the great southern mine shaft. Everyone okay. jump to your death. Jump to the floor. <laughs> I have enough time to break my bones and I'm actually kind of sick of the bone break so I'm just going to take the long route. I never heard a bit of death threat sound so more positive than marching You know, if we're gonna take a picture at the bottom, we should have someone like have like a photo of like you know put the camera up there so we look up. Well done. Yeah, like when the sands cover us, we'll have no escape. Friends, gather around hey, for the group photo. Trey Jim, stand next to me. <laughs> and all of you, stand next to me. For those of you that said, what? Disregard your thoughts. Here. And stand next to me for the group photo. Small people uh, in the front. I'll be in the back side. Right yes. Right here. Am I a medium? All right, so. I think I'm a medium. Yeah. Now then, <laughs> I'm a green grunt. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Got the camera set up. Good. Are you sleep deprived? So. Alrighty. Let's go. Green grunt, I ask oh, that you, and alone you, our hero, come up with a 
word, a trigger word for us trigger. all to say when you're ready. Our audio. Three, what? two, one. M minerals. 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 <laughs> it's minerals that that wife from Breaking Bad. Yes, it's minerals. <laughs> oh, yes. God. All right, I think I have everyone shown. Well, only one way to tell. My safety things were off this entire time. Congratulations. Good thing you are braver than most. Travelers. I am reckless. Your enough. attention, please. A few announcements mm -hmm. before you disperse oh. and oh. you're free to roam. Oh. I repeat, yes. travelers, gather around. We beg of your attention for just a few more moments. Listen carefully. Travelers, we are VR Travelers. We create these story-based tours with wholesome team effort. We do this for free. We do this for fun. We do this for you. Travelers, we started this during the pandemic of the real world above. It was a wonderful escape, was it not? Indeed. <laughs> a, a lot of beautiful things happened. A lot of friends we have made. Until now, we have created many things that we could not have imagined. But now, we beg of your imagination to power us forward. And thus, travelers, we do ask one thing in return. We ask that you join our Discord community. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Please, check my status or trade gym's status to see the Discord ID. Join us there and post your photos or thoughts from tonight's tour. Finally, travelers, if you really enjoy the work <laughs> our team puts into this and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please we support us on Patreon. Travelers, listen carefully. Our Patreon is only three dollars. And joining grants you the ability to, to support us. To create and commission these worlds, these stories, these, these sound effects <laughs> that you hear, and the music in our worlds. There are other benefits on our Patreon for you to look at. Mm -hmm. And... Let us know if you have any questions. Well then, travelers, thank you. And the floor is yours. Thank you. I do have a few questions. You. Awesome, how do I take it home? <laughs> All right. Are you both this aware really that cool. you are absolutely oh, wonderful? Are you trying to take this entire place? Well, taking me to this. I can I help, help with that. Well, you got some more here, so. Oh, fun. Yeah, that's a yeah, really good experience. <laughs> so, so, I so, yeah, I do not know what's yeah, down yeah, there. I can tell you, you know, Elgin's horror. Do you think this is the floor? I think you have too much to know what will happen. Well, he did say the floor was ours. So, I might have my own. Do you have my camera now, then? 
I have I a whisper in my ear that yeah, allows me to freeze all these avatars in place. Oh, and I will take a picture of them. So you're saying I put you out of your misery. This is really interesting. And then, uh, make the voice and stop. I'm just gonna sit the front uh, down here. I'll join you. Prepare for you. Yeah, everywhere. Into the Discord. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I got some bit of liquid. Discord? Maybe. If you sort of spread. Yeah. Uh, dude, actually, I'm already, uh, I'm already oh, in this, it. This, this sexy one, yellow cat right there, there, man, like... <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay.